Hello, Archibald Chesterfield III, AC3, affectionately known as the Pontiff. The Pontiff, fuckers. And today I would like to talk about the Patek Philippe World Time. And someone asked me, when you buy a watch, a fuck off watch like that, what do you get with it? Very good question indeed. What do you get when you buy a super duper fuck off super duper color duper fella fujuistic? What do you fucking get, fuckers? What do you get? That's a very good question. Question. Quest. Question. What do you get, fuckers? Let's take a look. Let's take a look. So, firstly, fuckers, you get. A really nice fuck off box. You get a super, super duper Califugiwistic fuck off box. This is the Patek Philippe wooden box, fuckers. This is the one they give you the big, the big heavy duty wooden box. These are actually made in Thailand, believe it or not, under license. And uh, a very, very interesting box indeed because it has a, it looks like if you've ever owned a Calatrava with the Tang buckle, this is the, this is sort of like the, the little attachment there to, to open the box. Very clever, very clever play there indeed, Paddock. Very clever. So let's have a look here. So this is, this is the big Fucker, when you buy a fuck off paddock. Now let's take a look. Let's take a look. Let's take a look, fuckers. And here we go. Wowzers. Wowzers, fuckers. Wowzers. Wowzer, wowzer. Woozer, woozer, wowzer, fuckers. There you go. That is the paddock world time. Now, in this box itself, it's got a little cubicle that comes out. And also, I'll just show you, the actual base of the box can be completely removed. So, that, that's, that's the box. And that's the cube that fits in. So, now, let's go and take a look at this watch itself here. Now, I want to show you something absolutely super duper. With these Patek Philippe's, you notice you've got some little things here. That's optional tools if you've got a complicated Patek. This is a Patek pin pusher. Look at that. That's a Patek pin pusher. If there's anyone out there who needs a Patek pin pusher in rose gold, I got one. I got one available. So there you go. And that just fits in there. That's what happens on the the super duper rare packs. That's what happens. So if anyone needs one, just contact me. My email address is in the description below. So that's the pin pusher. That pin pusher didn't come with the world time because the world time doesn't need a pin pusher and it's also white gold. I just thought I'd show you that. Then we've got a, this here is a deployant Buckle. So deployant means it's got the it's got the more expensive Cartier would call that an A B buckle. Ah smell it. Smell the cushion. Ah it's like smelling the, the interior the interior the underpants of a superstar. Like smell, sniffing the undies of a superstar. And here we go, look at that. That's the that's the paddock world time very very cool indeed fuckers very fucking cool very fucking cool and it's this is the world time and we look on the back and we've got the the beautiful display back it's a bit hard because i've got the deploy and buckle in the way and uh i'll just put this fucker on my wrist now, someone has also asked me, what sort of paperwork do you get when you buy a fuck-off paddock? 
That is a very good question. That is a very good question, fuckers. So let's take a look. Let's take a look. I love the world time. Now let's have a look at what paperwork we get with this sort of purchase. So uh, I always find it's always nice to have a clock. Just give it a little, little rub, fuckers. Now let's take a look. What do we get with the, the Pad X? What do we get? Well, okay, we get a, a range of things, okay? This is what we get. This is what came with that paddock there. So firstly, they usually give you the latest sales. This is a sales, sales brochure. When you buy a paddock, they give you one of these, which in this case here, this particular booklet is... Uh, this came from Monards. Fuck me dead! Monards in Sydney. Okay, there we go. And if we look up uh, the particular Patek we've got here, it's the Patek Philippe World Time. That's the 5110. So that's the current catalogue when this watch was brand spanking new. So it's a 5110. Self-winding movement with indication of 24 time zones, sapphire crystal back, fold over clasp, water resistant to 25 meters, yellow, white or rose, gold or platinum, uh, hallmarked with the Geneva seal. Beautiful. Absolutely, absolutely beautiful. I, I don't think you could honestly, um, honestly can't criticize that in the least. In the least next thing you get with it is you get a booklet which tells you about the actual movement itself there it covers the calibers 240 315 324 and 330 so in this case here this particular watch uses a 240 based movement it's the 240 based paddock Philippe movement it tells you how to set the time and adjust it. Uh, it tells you about the self-winding mechanism. It tells you about the data, yada, yada. And it just, it just goes to show, it shows you all the different movements that are there. And uh, quite an interesting, quite an interesting read there. It tells you the self-winding caliber 240 movement is coveted for the elegance of its layout and extremely compact design. The movement's 22 gold, 22 karat gold mini rotor situated in an off-center position. Uh, the inlaid design of the rotor made it possible to reduce the height of the movement to 2.53 millimeters. So this movement itself has got uh, overall diameter 27.5 millimeters, overall height 2.53 millimeters, number of parts. 161 or 162 number of jewels 27 jewels power reserve 48 hours maximum 48 hours uh, balance gyro max frequency 21,600 semi oscillations per hour balance spring flat and uh, it's just very interesting stuff here now that's that's the movement guide which it basically it just tells you a bit about the movements in that there doesn't doesn't really just eh, it's just a movement guide it's a movement guide fuckers what can i say what can i say indeed there now the next thing you get when you spend the bucks is you get the leather is it leather I think it's leather. Is it leather? I don't know. It's anyhow. You get this here, which has this is the this is the papers to the Patek. This here is the papers. It's the certificate of a certificate of origin. That's right. This is to say you are a rich fucker. And on this particular piece here, it tells you. <clears throat> I'll just open this out. Uh, I'll just conceal the previous owner for personal reasons. 
there we go it gives you the uh the reference in this case it's a 5110g-001 the movement number the caliber which is a 240hu and it also tells the number of joules movement joules 33r dial gilloche opaline uh it tells us the uh it tells us we've got a leather strap on it it tells us so that's that's basically the certificate. That is the certificate of that's 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 the papers. That's the papers. There's a little bit below here where it's got the name of the purchaser, which I I won't reveal due to uh, I just keep it a bit quiet. There, it tells you the name of the 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 reseller. Date of purchase: twenty fifth of the fourth, o three. That's right. 25th of the 4th, 25th of the, oh, I can't remember that day. <laughs> Anyhow, fuckers, that is what you get when you spend an obscene amount of money on a wristwatch. So, uh, that, that is the Patek Philippe. That is the Patek Philippe experience, fuckers. So, uh, I hope you've enjoyed it. And, uh, fuckers, tell me what you miserable, lousy fuckers think of that! We specialize here in pre-owned Rolex watches. Rolex watch is a very special timepiece, and we always do the servicing exactly as factory specifications. We buy a pre-owned piece, and we put it into brand new condition. We have Rolex certified technicians working on that. We completely disassemble the piece, we adjust and polish and change every single part of the watch. You have to have certified watchmakers that know what they're doing. If you have an expensive car, you're just not going to bring it to any mechanic that doesn't know what they're doing. You spent $5,000, it's like if you put money in the safe deposit box. And one or two years from now, you will keep having your $5,000. We have to spend a lot of money to get all this equipment together, but makes me feel I doing what I supposed to do. It's not a question of money, it's my passion. Jewelers on time, simply the best. Hello, fuckers. I'm Jesus, and I wanted to thank you for watching the Archie Luxury channel on YouTube. Archie is one funny fucker, and I love his work, unlike some other nasty fuckers. Did you know some of the other nasty fuckers worship Satan? That's right, they worship the devil. I love Archie Luxury, and I know he's happy you are watching. Love you all, and please keep watching. Please look in the description of this video to find 10 ways you can help Archie.